Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate that. We got a video titled Rotational Dating for Marriage Best Dating Strategy for Women. I have never heard of rotational dating before. So, oh boy, I'm sure it's going to be a good one. Let's get into it. Rotational dating is women's empowerment in love because rotational dating brings you choices in men and choice is power. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> oh, empowerment, power, choices, power, empowerment. Oh. This is going to go down hard, guys. Oh, let's, let's get... I'm of the hot opinion that every single woman should be rotational dating. If you exercise for your good, if you eat nutritious food for your good, if you do yoga for your good, if you sleep well for your good, then you should be doing rotational dating for the good of your love life. The other things you just mentioned don't involve other people in a personal way. So your facsimile here is already so stupid and wrong. But you're a modern empowered woman and you're stupid and short-sighted and I'm not surprised. Rotational dating is putting the power back in your hands as a woman <laughs> by giving you multiple choices in men. Uh, and you want the same men as all the other powerful women. See, you're not going out and just banging any average dude. We know this. You're a high quality, high tier woman. So empowered, stunning and brave. You're not screwing the average Joe, Joe Blow working at Walmart or McDonald's or at the car wash. You're going after every other guy. You think that you're empowering yourself, but you're just making it easier for the guys at the top to get laid more and more because they're banging all of you. And you don't even realize that because you're so short-sighted and stupid and by reminding you that you don't have to settle there for is. the first guy you come across there it is. is nice to you you are in a world of abundance when you are rotational <laughs> dating you don't just have one menu item on the menu in the restaurant you have multiple items to choose from and see guys doesn't that just make them so empowered Aren't they just so strong and stunning when they've had multiple dicks all up in their business? Doesn't that just make them so strong and later in life when they can't get as many dicks and they've got five cats and two dogs, they're drinking box wine, eating kitty litter, it's all going to be worth it, isn't it, ladies? It's all going to be worth it. And this is why rotational dating is so powerful. Oh, yeah, so powerful. And I recommend every single of my clients to rotational date. Of course. Date. Of course she's got clients. Of course she's got some kind of online, you know, uh, we webinar. She's got courses. Don't forget that. And uh, she's got a subscription. Sign up for her newsletter. Now, of course, when women hear the term rotational dating, there is something sleazy about it, right? right? Like yeah. I get this all the time, you know, when I give big media interviews, I've spoken about yeah. rotational dating on Business Insider, Forbes magazine, of course. BBC, of course. and even the Time magazine interviewed mm -hmm. me about this concept of rotational dating. And they're always curious and they always ask me, you're a family oriented woman, you're a mom, you're a wife, why would you teach women to behave in this sleazy way? And why is your husband staying with you? That little simp. This 
oh my God, if, if my woman ever degraded me in public like that, I would drop kick that hoe into the uprights so fucking fast. She wouldn't know. She would wake up midair like, what is even going on before she hits those uprights? Get rid of this bitch. To the guy that is apparently married to this thing, get rid of her. And I'm like, hold out. I think we have to hold start out. from the beginning because I think we are dealing with so many misbeliefs and misconceptions about what rotational dating truly is. And this is why I don't hold it against you if as a woman, when you hear this term at first, you want to reject it straight away because of course, no dignified woman wants to be associated as being somebody who is sleeping around right. and, you know, rotating multiple men and, you know, going to their homes every night. I mean, sounds like a hoe. wants to be that person. Sounds right? like a hoe. So here's the thing. Let's once and for all debunk oh, yes. the myths around rotational dating okay. and understand what rotational dating truly is okay. in the Sammy Wonder world. So rotational dating okay. in my world and the way I like to define it, is just dating multiple men at the same time till you have the commitment you desire. Now, it does not mean that you have to sleep with all these right. men. Right. I think one of the sure. biggest missions of mine is to change the way we think about dating. Because the minute we use the word dating, we make it synonymous with sex. That's what it's for. That's what it is all about, is to get sex. That's why guys go on dates, is to get sex. They don't care about your hobbies. They don't care about your job. They don't care about how much money you make. Are you going to give me babies? Are you going to give me regular sex? Are you going to help me in life? Cook, clean, do the, all that kind of stuff. And some guys, it's a little different here and there. But yes, getting together to have sex, to have kids... There you go. That's that's the whole but point of it. When I talk about rotational dating, I literally talk about getting to know lots and lots of men on what I call connection dates, like going for a walk in the park, going to a museum, going for a walk by the river and enjoying a glass of wine, getting to know each other. See, the, the problem is, is that we don't like that. Guys don't like that. We don't want you dating multiple men if if we think it's going to be serious and going somewhere if we're just like this chick i'm just going to bang her then yeah we're not going to care dudes aren't going to give a, a good god damn um but yeah because that disgusts us that repels us to know that you're because you could be like oh i'm just dating people and i'm not sleeping around in our brains we're just like uh-huh yeah sure you're not bullshit you're, get, you're getting with those guys and you're making me wait and stuff. Not going to like that. All of this in my world is rotational dating. And it's all about building emotional connection with men. Then you do it one at a time. You don't do it with 10, 15 guys at a time. That's not going to work. And I think one of the biggest flaws in our culture is that the minute we think about rotational dating, we think it's about, you know, sleeping with multiple men. Now, of course, as an empowered woman, I would never judge a woman yeah, here it is. who made that choice. <laughs> See? <laughs> it wouldn't be a choice for me. It's not a choice that I teach uh... actively to my clients. And yet the whole point is that every woman should be having choices, especially in early dating. I think there are so many ways to rotational date. You know, you could do it in early dating. You could do it all the way to the ring. You could no rotational way. date to the three. If you're rotational dating all the way up to the ring, I am not marrying you, bitch. No fucking way. Um, this, I'm going to speed her up a little bit. She's kind of taking, do 1.5. Let's see how that sounds. And go, go, go. Three month, six month mark till he's asked you to be exclusive and, you know, he's asked you to be his girlfriend. But I will get into the nitty gritties of that in just a moment in this video. But I think for me, what is most important is to help the women who are coming into my world to shift the dirty, yucky feeling they get around rotational dating. Because unless your belief system shifts, you're not going to be able to capitalize on this amazing strategy to attract your husband fast. Basically, what happens is, and what I've seen over a decade of being a loving relationship. Sorry, guys. 
you're not going to attract a husband if you're dating a bunch of guys all at the same time. That's not going to happen. Coach for ambitious single women, Jesus. helping them attract healthy, empowered, masculine men. I've helped thousands You don't even know what that is. Attract healthy, empowered, masculine men and no, get yeah. married and have babies. And Bullshit. what I've seen is that most dignified women like you watching this video right now, you date one man at one time, right? You get to know somebody on Tinder or Bumble, or maybe it's an introduction from a friend, and you like this person. And yep. you get exclusive really fast, right? Which like by date three, date five, they're already asking you to be their girlfriend. You're excited. You think you won the jackpot. You become the girlfriend only to start seeing that, wow, he's putting in less and less effort. He is not really showing up as the person I thought he would show up as. Oh my God, you know, he's still visiting his ex. Oh my God, he's still telling me all the time about his ex-wife. Oh my God. Then you bring it up and you leave and you go find another guy to date one at a time but you know he doesn't even please me in bed oh then my god are you with what him? did i get into like, now this is the story of so many women this is the story of millions of women women need to grow and up the birth then. point of these stories is one single belief system and that is i cannot see more than one man at the same time and so if i cannot see more than no, one that's man at the same it. time what usually happens no that's not it that's not it it is women's hypergamous nature that can't allow that it is the nothing is ever good enough the grass is always greener that's what it's about, lady. It's what you women have become. What happens is I give the man in front of me who feels slightly good or good enough a chance. And usually I give this chance within an exclusive commitment where I start to get attached, I sleep with him, I give him wife benefits, but he doesn't show up and treat me the way I know I deserve to be treated. So where does that leave me? Then you're not giving him the wife treatment, really. You're not fulfilling your part, really. And I can tell you that. where it leaves you. It leaves you with months wasted, or sometimes even years wasted, on the wrong men. And this is why I want you to buy into the system of rotational dating. Because when you're my course. Date, you do not say yes to quick exclusivity. You actually have lots of choices on the menu. You get to experience Robert's masculine energy around you. You also get to experience Tom's masculine energy around you. And now you're starting to see, ooh, you know, I really like Robert, but he doesn't text or communicate as much. And I'm fine with Tom, but I really like the way he treats me. I really like the way he jumps on his toes and wants to please me and wants to take me out to a restaurant I enjoy going to. And so now you start to make these comparisons simply because you are abundant. You have choices and you're able to see, you know, how different men feel different in your body. Different in your body? What do you mean by that, you gross, nasty slur? Oh, God. And all this just sounds like a headache. Well... I don't like him when he, I don't like that he does this. I don't like that this guy does this. But blah, 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 juggle, juggle, that sounds like a fucking headache. You sound like a headache, lady. How some men you like may not make you feel good. How some men you don't <sighs> really care about or feel the spark with may be really treating you well. And all of this is amazing information for your body and amazing <laughs> empowerment for you to choose from. Now, this also means that you don't have to rotational date forever. But if you are at least rotational dating in the beginning, which is what I recommend every single woman, then you will at least take your time getting exclusive with a guy. And in that time, you can make the right decision before jumping into bed with anybody, before, you know, accepting quick exclusivity. Rotational dating actually puts the power back in your hands to base men, to take your time <laughs> getting to know them, to make sure that if you are saying yes, you're right. a girlfriend, which you don't have to, by the way, if you are aware of what I teach. And I talk more about this in my program, Deep Into Love. But oh, there it is. The choice is. is back in your hands to go slow and to keep evaluating guys till you feel like you have the person who really does treat you well and with whom you you know see a future, with whom you see long term. Now, what I'm going to do next is give you examples from my client success. All right, we're going to stop it there. I don't want to listen to this bitch anymore. This is so fucking stupid. Bitch, you are so wrong. You are so. This is dumb. This is dumb. Uh, I don't. I don't agree. Yeah, this is a terrible, terrible advice. Uh, of course. Um, I agree with AD, Austria Dick, that women should not be giving, it should not be legal for women to give legal, bleh, it should not be legal for women to give other women advice about dating, marriage, any of that stuff, because this is what happens, and you're dumb, and shut up. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, please like, share, subscribe. Oh boy. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I love you all. See you in the next one.